Russia has responded to India's request of uh, a safe passage, the demand that was raised with the Russian authorities so that the Indian students who live uh, in conflict zones which uh, is near the Russian border can be evacuated. Russian envoy has now promised help, said everything will be done to make sure that the Indian students uh, are safe and that they are evacuated. Russian envoy has promised help in evacuation. Indian diplomats, in fact, currently are uh, coordinating with them. They are uh, in uh, Russia seeking assistance from the Russian authorities, a safe passage, a safe corridor for the Indian students who are stuck in uh, areas like Kharkiv and Sumi, that is very near the Russian border, can uh, safely be evacuated if a safe passage uh, is provided by the Russian authorities. Russia will do everything it possibly can to ensure the safety of Indian citizens and their evacuation and to do a proper investigation of this unfortunate accident. It should be uh, clear to you and the Indian public that Russia does not fight the Ukrainian people. Russia does not target civilian building, buildings and infrastructure. Russia does not use prohibited weapons. The only instance so far the downing of the communication tower in Kiev uh, yesterday. For that, the Russian forces issued a specific warning in advance so as to avoid civilian casualties. This is the pattern we follow. It's very easy to frame Russia without any evidence since we have the upper hand on the ground and blame it for all the sins. But the truth is that it is the Ukrainian units manned by notorious Russia haters and ultra-nationalists, which put up feverish and indiscriminate resistance.